Hey everybody, welcome back to uh, RC Drones and More. This is Sean. Thanks for tuning in. Today we got the uh, unboxing of the Sharper Image Stunt Drone DX2. Uh, I already took everything out of the box and made sure everything was in there. But here's the, the drone itself. A little lightweight. It's pretty decent. I already charged it up, so we're going to do a flight time as well. Um, it came with your charger, USB, came with a screwdriver, and also came with four extra props, in case you break them or lose them, or however. <laughs> Alright, and here's the controller, if I can get it out of the box. There we go. This is your standard sharper image controller. Uh, same, almost identical to the other ones. Just a couple changes. You have a stunt button on the top, right here. Um, yeah, there's the controller. It looks identical to the other ones. Uh, let's see. We also have the prop guard. It's actually really flimsy. Hopefully it's not that flimsy when I put it on. I really don't use them much anyway. But um, there this is. And uh, let's get into the book a little bit, tell you a little bit more about it. It came with a book, an instruction manual. And um, let's get into it real quick. I'm not going to go through everything. But um, yeah, it just tells you getting to know your drone and you know, it has lights on it. it. Has an overview of everything. It let me see if I can get that to focus in. It's not gonna let me focus in. Well, the drone battery is a 350 milliamp lipo battery. Uh, the remote control battery uh, holds up six um, AA batteries. Charging time is 60 minutes, and the maximum recommended altitude is 115 feet. Now, it says 115 feet altitude, but on the box, it says that the range is 150 foot. So, definitely want to keep it close to you, so you don't have a flyaway or, or anything in that nature. Um, kind of making just a quick video, because I want to, like I said, I want to do a, a flight test as well. My loving fiance is going to hold the camera for me. Uh, let's see. Uh, there's how you charge it. Uh, in the bottom here, it shows you how to put the prop guard on. That's what it comes with. Um, USB charger, prop guard, extra props, screwdriver. And on this side, it has the uh, controls on it. Uh, flip side is just a table of contents. Uh, again, about your battery and make sure that you're responsible when you're flying. Uh, it's not FAA required, so you do not need a license or anything to fly it. I guess that's what that means. I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm just assuming. But, um, all right, let's turn this puppy on. Um, this is where you charge it in the back with the USB port. There's the front, there's the back, and the on and off switch is right here. What kind of turned me off a little bit on this one is the lights are on the top. That's weird. I mean, it's not weird, but it's odd that they would be on the top instead of the bottom. Now what we're going to do is turn on the controller and bind it. Now what you want to do is press up and then down. And you'll hear a beep and those lights will stay solid. All right, now we're ready to fly. Honey, if you would grab that piece. All right. Test flight number one, Sharper Image DX2 drone, stunt drone. Well, the controls are a little touchy. Just a little bit. 
as did your. And it's really touchy. Oh. It is very touchy. And with this being not altitude hold, it makes it really touchy. See if we could do a stunt here. I can't even barely see it because it's black. I know. You should try to keep it down more. Keep it down more? Like, <laughs> not like everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> it is very hard to control. I'm going to try to do a stunt here and try to keep it close so you guys can see it. And it it's very, very, very touchy. Let's see if we can do this again. Take three. And we crashed again. It's gonna take, I'm used to the bigger drones. But if you can fly a big drone, you can fly anything. It is very touchy. A little bit of can't even really see it because it's too bright out here. But um, I'm going to continue to try doing this and hopefully we get this because I want to share this with you guys. And it's making it kind of hard to see because it's so bright out today. It is very touchy. I'm trying to keep it straight, baby. I'm trying. It is really quick for its size. I'm actually pleased with it. It's just, it's gonna take me a long time other people probably could, they'll catch on real quick, but. I mean, it is pretty decent. A nice little flip. I can't see you no more. <laughs> <laughs> you want to move over this way? Maybe you can get out of the sun area, maybe. <laughs> you guys get the main concept of it and everything but I just wanted to show you how it handles and for a beginner I, I would recommend it for a beginner only because it's small um, it'll get you used to the non-altitude non hold control um, Try your best. That's that's the only thing you can do. It just practice makes perfect. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna try one more time. We can get it up in the air. Probably do a couple more stunts for you. See if we can do this. There's a flip. There's no speed change or anything on it. Another flip. Side flip. Here, I landed my hand. 
No. <laughs> well, there you have it. I'm gotta be like on the top 10 of being not the greatest flyer in the world, but it's fun. It's really fun. Um, definitely recommend it for beginners. Try it out. All right. I got this at my local Walmart, and it's fun. You just gotta learn how to handle the controls. All right. Well, this is Sean with RC Drones and more, and thank you for tuning in.